Good morning and welcome to this week's worship with Abslery Sorish and Army. It's good to have you joining with us again. We are very grateful again this week to the Reverend Roy Watson for providing our message. Uh, and Roy has um, provide, provided it in written form, so I'll be reading it out a bit later on. Um, I do have some announcements, well, an important announcement to make really, and that is that we had a core council meeting uh, the Sunday just gone. Um, we also met with Major Steve Wilson from um, Divisional Headquarters, and at that uh, core council meeting, it was decided that we will be able to reopen the hall for worship together on the 6th of December. So Sunday, the 6th of December, we will have the, the first of our Christmas services, um, and I've got the honour of leading that one. And then the following Sunday, the 13th of December, uh, Majors Steve and Kim Wilson are going to be leading that Christmas meeting for us. Now, it's very exciting and we are very grateful that we're going to be able to meet again because we've really missed that. But we need to remember that there are still guidelines and still restrictions that we need to stick to. We will have to observe social distancing when we are in the hall and we would ask that everybody wears face masks to that service. And because we have to observe social distancing, we are restricted on the number of people that can be in the hall at any one time. Now, we want to open the services to as many people as possible. And it was decided at the core council meeting is if, if we have to run the same service more than once on the Sunday, then we will do that. Currently, as I said, we're aiming at one service at six o'clock. But if we have to repeat it, we, we will arrange another time. But people will need to book. You will need to. And I know this sounds strange for church, but you, you will need to book your place at that service so that we can be sure that we are not putting anyone at risk by having too many people in that hall. Now, how can you book? If you are used to using our Facebook page, and I guess if you've found your way onto this online service, then you are, then please feel free to leave a message on the Facebook page um, itself or to use the messenger element of Facebook. Um, and leave a message uh, for us and we'll pick that up. Otherwise, you will have noticed that when you had your um, new sheet um, and the, the sermon posted through your letterbox this week, there was a letter and a letter with a form at the bottom. And you can um, register yourself for the services on that form as well. Okay, so please, don't, don't worry about how you have to say you want to come to those services. Just whichever way possible, get in touch with somebody, just let us know. And we will need to know, obviously in advance, because when you get to the hall for that service, your name will be on a chair. And that is your chair to sit on. I know it's terribly formal, but it's kind of what we have to do. And as much as this doesn't sit well with us, People who have not booked to come will be turned away at the door. I'm very sorry, but this is for everyone's safety. Yeah, it, the cat obviously doesn't approve of having to turn people away at church. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll have to do. We will be checking temperatures when people get there with the little um, gun thing that checks temperature from your forehead. As I said, you will need to wear face masks. We cannot have singing and we cannot have the band. Again, restrictions aimed at keeping us all safe, but we can have a very good time of fellowship together. Um, so 6th of December, 13th of December, you need to let us know if you wish to come. Um, and uh, when you get there, there will be some restrictions in place to keep us all safe. 
Let us pray. Loving God, we come before you today to worship you and we bring you our praise and we bring you our thanks. We thank you that we are going to be able to meet again for fellowship and for worship and to raise your name at Christmas time and we thank you for that. Lord, we are still mindful of those who are currently in hospital because they are so poorly with COVID and we ask that you will pour your healing, your love, your presence upon them and that you will continue to inspire the, the doctors, the nurses, the scientists, everybody who is working to battle this pandemic so that very soon we will be able to meet as we once did. Father God, we pray for members of our core who themselves are not too well at the moment, members of our core who are starting to struggle with the isolation and we ask that your presence will be a very real and a very wonderful thing to them at this time. Loving Father, we have so much to thank you for. Sometimes we struggle to say thanks, but as we come up to Christmas and we think of your gift of your son, Lord, we just want to say how much we love you and how grateful we are for all the abundant wonders that you've placed into our lives. Lord, please accept and answer this prayer, for we ask it in the loving and awesome name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now our opening song is Make Way, Make Way. Make way, make way. Make way, make way. For the King of Kings. For the King of Kings. Make way, make way. Make way, make way. For the King of Kings. For the King of Kings. Reverend Watson has given to us. Let us pray together. Loving God, we come before you in adoration and praise for all that you've done for us. 
At this difficult time, it can sometimes feel that we are alone and that you are not with us. But you promised you will always be there and will never abandon us. And for that, we praise you. We are truly sorry for the times when we have let you down, when we have failed to help those we ought to help, when we have passed by on the other side instead of helping people who need our help. Forgive us, Lord, and help us to share your love with others. We give you thanks for all your gifts to us. Help us to share them with others, that they too may come to know you more and more, that they will know who you are and the impact that you can have on their lives. We ask these and all our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now the first of the Bible readings, I'm reading from the Old Testament, reading from Psalm 100, and because it's a very short psalm, reading the entire psalm. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever and his faithfulness continues to each generation. Amen. And now we're going to listen to the International Staff Songsters singing More Than Wonderful.
the second of our Bible readings um, and we've this time turned the Gospels to Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit upon his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in his presence and he will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? Or a stranger and show you hospitality? Or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth. When you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Then the king will turn to those on the left and say, Away with you, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. For I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty and you didn't give me a drink. I was a stranger and you didn't invite me into your home. I was naked and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick and in prison and you didn't visit me. Then they will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and not help you? And he will answer, I tell you the truth, when you refused to help the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were refusing to help me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. May the Lord bless the reading from his word. Next week, Advent begins. It's only five weeks until Christmas. The time when we celebrate the coming of that tiny baby into the world, the, the coming of Jesus, the King of Kings. So during this time of Advent, let us reflect on who Jesus is for us. I mean, we call him King, but he certainly wasn't the King that the Jewish people at the time were expecting him to be. He is our King. He is the light of the world. And we are called to share with others who he is, the light of the world and the King of Kings. Our reading talks about helping those in need. By helping those in need, we are sharing the love and good news of Jesus with other people. By doing this, we are enabling others to come to know him for themselves. But in the midst of the pandemic, it can be difficult to know how we can help others at the moment. Verse 40 of our Gospel reading says this, And the King will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Perhaps at the moment we can help others by donating food or clothes or just simply phoning someone up for a chat. All these ways of helping others enable us to do what he asked us to do and to share the love and good news of Jesus, which is needed more than ever at the moment. There are people out there on our streets who have missed out on the opportunity of finding the King of Kings, of finding out for themselves what the real meaning of Christmas is. To them, Christmas is just another holiday. 
They have never known what it's all about and they have never known the difference that this tiny baby will have on their lives if they only take the opportunity to look for him. We know the difference that he's made and it's up to us to give people that opportunity to find him for themselves. Let us take the opportunity to share with others who this King of Kings is and what difference he can make in their lives. For a moment, let's just take time to sit quietly and pray. Loving God, we come before you now to pray for our created world, the world which you created, in which there is so much trouble. Help us to mend your broken world, that all may live in peace. We pray for world leaders as they seek to do the best they possibly can in leading us through the pandemic. Give them guidance and wisdom in all their decision making as they seek to bring the virus under control. We pray for the church across the world as it seeks to serve and to share the good news amidst the pandemic. Give strength and peace to our church leaders as they seek to guide us through this difficult time. May they find rest and renewal in you when they need it. We pray for our own churches and for the day in which we can all safely meet together for worship once more. We pray for those who are in need of our prayers at this time, those in hospital and those who care for them, those struggling with mental health problems, those who feel alone with no one to whom they can turn. We pray for those on the front line who are working to overcome the virus. May they know your peace, strength and love. We bring before you our concerns for people we know who are in need of our prayers at this time. We commend to you those who died, knowing that you welcome them home with open arms. We place them into your care, knowing that we will be reunited with them one day. Comfort those who mourn their loss, and may they know your presence with them at this difficult time. We pray for ourselves. We alone know what we need right now. Give us what we need to face the days ahead as we continue to wrestle with this pandemic which affects us all in some way or another. We ask these and all our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now our closing song, Beauty for Brokenness. for brokenness hope for despair Lord in the suffering this is our prayer bread for the children justice joy peace sunrise to sunset your kingdom increase Shelter for fragile lives, cure for their ills Work for the craftsmen, trade for their skills Land for the dispossessed, rights for the weak Voices to plead the cause of those who can't speak God of the poor Friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain. Come change our love from a spark to a flame. From cruel wars, havens from fear, cities for sanctuary.
freedoms to share Peace to the killing fields Scorched earth to green Christ for the bitterness His cross for the pain God of the poor Friend of the weak Give us compassion Oceans and streams Plundered and poisoned A future and dreams Lord and a madness Carelessness, greed Make us content with The things that we need God of the poor Friend of the weak Give us compassion we pray, melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain, come change our love from a spark to a flame. Justice burns brightly again Until the nations learn of your ways Seek your salvation and bring you their praise God of the poor, friend of the weak Give us compassion benediction. Lord, as Christmas draws near, may we share your love with others. Help us to show them who you are, that they may discover you for themselves. Now, may the God who gives us this patience and encouragement help us live in complete harmony with each other, as is fitting for followers of Christ Jesus. Then all of us can join together with one voice, giving praise and and glory to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>